Designing websites has quite a few moving parts. You have to register the domain name, you have to set up the hosting and also build the website. So what I'm going to do in today's video is to just give you an overview and show you the dashboard of a SiteGround. This is the hosting company that does both the domain registration and also hosts your website. Now, why are we choosing SiteGround for web hosting? Well, the reason is SiteGround is the best option you need to go with when it comes to setting up a site which is super fast and optimized for page builders like Divi. So it is super optimized for that, which means your website is going to be super fast. Secondly, they have fantastic support. And also, and this is very, very important, SiteGround is recommended by WordPress.org. So come on, we are going to be designing WordPress websites. So this is the best option if you're just up and running and getting started with designing websites with WordPress. So what I'm going to do in this video is to show you and give you an overview of what it looks like before you actually purchase SiteGround hosting. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm on SiteGround.com and here you can see it starts off with a fantastic offer which saves you 69%. So if you haven't signed up with SiteGround, the link to that is in the video description below. You can get a massive, huge discount. Okay, so let's take a look at the plans here. So this is what you'd normally do. You'd come over here, look at these plans and then decide what you want to go with. Now, in my case, I prefer to go with GoGeek because first of all, it's really affordable and it also gives me a lot of monthly visits and a lot of webs site space just in case i need to build a lot of website on this okay so we also have a lot of quite a few free items here we have a cdn a free email ssl and so on we don't want to go through all this all right so let's say you click on get plan what happens now is you're going to be asked if you have a domain name which is right here so if you have a domain name you select here and then enter your domain name and proceed if you don't have a domain name this is where you would come over here and register your domain name with SiteGround. So I usually go for this option. It's much easier because everything is all in one. You just register and the price here is also not too bad. It's $14.99 per year. But if you have a domain name, you can just come over here. And uh, in my case, my domain is funnels to income.com. And then I'll click on proceed. And this is where you want to add your email address and your password. Now, this is for your control panel, which is what I'm going to be showing you in a moment. And then further down here, you want to enter your client information, which is your country, your first name, last name. Uh, if you have a company, you could just add your company here, VAT or tax ID, if you have that. But as you can see, it's not mandatory. You can enter more information here, like your city, address, zip code, and so on, card details. And once you've done that, it gives you a summary of how much you're going to save uh, if you did not have this deal, which is 29.99 so this will go all the way down to 749 per month and this will give you a total bill of 89 uh, pounds 88 but if you're in the us or any uh, anywhere in the world this will be presented in your own currency all right so let's say you've gone through this whole process you've hit pay now and you've paid for your hosting you're going to get an email and this email will have the details for you to log into your admin dashboard. And this is your SiteGround dashboard. This is where you find everything that you need. And this is now what you're going to be logging into. So I'm gonna come over here to log in. Okay, so I've entered my email address and you can see it recognizes me there. And I'm gonna click on login to go into my control panel. And here we go. So if you have a domain which needs verification, this is the notice you get, but we're not gonna focus on that right now. Okay, so here is your quick startup guide. So you can see here, we can start a website now. So this is where you would access your um, WordPress website and so on. But the good thing as well is you can just close things and uh, just get rid of that like that. And then you can just clear out your control panel here. Uh, the next thing you want to take a look here is uh, all these links. So let's say, for example, you want to point your domain to your website. I know I'm getting a bit uh, technical here, but this is when you have your own domain and you want to point it to your hosting. So this is what you would click and then it goes, gives you all the instructions on how you need to do that. So as you can see, these are your quick uh, instructions on how to get started. Let's take a look here at our websites. So this tab here is going to show all the websites that you have on SiteGround, which is really, really good because now you know you have one place that you need to go to see everything. So on the bottom here, in fact, let's talk about the top here. This is my website. So I can view this website by clicking over here. 
and I've opened this in a new tab. And you can see here, this is my site, webdesignwithmac.com. Okay, so over here, we also have extras. So we have Site Builder, we had uh, Cloudflare, we have uh, SG Site Scanner, SSL, and so on. Now, these are important if at any point you want to, let's say, for example, add SSL, which is also great uh, if you sell anything online. And also, I think it's mandatory for Google for you to have SSL. So you can just add it here. And uh, because we chose a fantastic hosting plan, this is free. So I can now choose here, select, or I can even go for this one here. This is also free. But you know what? For now, I'm just going to leave this as it is. I'm just showing you where things are. So back over here on websites. If you want to go in and take a look at your website tools, this is where you'd come over here to site tools. Now, these site tools are for that particular domain name. So don't get confused. So these are for my website, webdesignwithmac.com. Okay, so let's go through this. So here we can uh, manage WordPress. We have email accounts here. We also have file manager. So there are cases where you may want to upload files manually to your website. This is where you would come to the file manager. And you can see here it's uh, neatly laid out. It looks uh, very, very nice. If I click on this drop down or even double click here, it shows me all my files for my WordPress website. But of course, you don't want to mess with this. It's quite rare you need to go into your file manager. Now, to access that, you're also going to need your FTP accounts, which you can create over here. And all your FTP accounts will be listed over here. Now, I know this is a bit technical, but this is where you would find everything. So back here on our dashboard, it also tells you your disk usage here and your IP address and your name servers. Now, over here, this is where you'd get your monthly statistics. Now, right now, I don't have any because I've just installed this uh, website. It's really brand new. Next, let's come over here to security. So here on security, you can go to backups. And this is where you will have all your backups. Now, right now, I don't have any because uh, I've just installed my uh, brand new domain name and I've just set this up. Now, we also have an SSL manager here. And that is, I can choose the uh, service that I want here. Like, for example, let's encrypt. You can click on get and this will set up your SSL. Now, there's also other items here like protected URLs, blocked IPs and so on. Next, I want to come over here to speed. OK, now speed is very important because, of course, you want your website to run super fast. So here we have caching. So caching is the first one. So by default here, it is activated, which is great. OK, so we've uh, covered caching. The next step here is Cloudflare. Now, this is your CDN. And this is also fantastic because your website will be distributed, you know, uh, on uh, so many different servers to make your website super fast uh, wherever you are. Okay, next, I'm going to come over here to WordPress. So here we have our staging. We can migrate. We can auto-update. We can search and replace. So there's quite a few things we can do here. So you can see install and manage. Here it is. If you want to install uh, let's say a new uh, website, you would come over here. If you want to install a website with WooCommerce, this is where you would come. Now let's go to domain. So this is where you would have your domain redirects, park domains, and so on. Here we have your emails. So if you want to set up all your emails, this is where you'd come and set up your emails with my extension webdesignwithmac.com. Now these emails are, of course, very professional because it'll be like Mac at or admin at webdesignwithmac.com. Okay, so moving on, uh, we also have autoresponders here, but I would prefer to use uh, a separate um, CRM to manage all my emails. Now over here, we also have statistics. I can take a look at my traffic. Now, of course, I don't have any traffic here, but you can go in individually and choose a specific date range and this will show you how your website is performing. So this is our main dashboard. I'm going to go back to my account here. Now we also have services and this is my current hosting plan. So let's say we want to decide to upgrade my hosting plan. This is where I'll just click here to upgrade or if I need to manage it, I can just come over here and manage it. And I can also come over here, click on manage. And these are all the tools that I would need to manage my domain. So on the billing here, this is where we have my main card that I use for my payments. And then here it shows me my payment history. And you can see here I've bought this on the 21st of uh, September. 
and uh, 134 pounds. And I can also click here for the invoice if I need that. Now, referrals, I don't really worry about that. This is for affiliate marketing. And then the marketplace is where they have all these domains where you can buy, you know, your domains and you can also do the domain transfer, domain privacy and so on. So as you can see, it is not very overwhelming. And this is what you can expect when you purchase SiteGround hosting. In my opinion, the control panel is very, very nice. Everything is laid out and very easy to find as compared to uh, some of the control panels that I uh, used to use in the past. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.